Hi, I'm Tomasz Papiernik and in this demo I'd like to show you how to use the page editor in Smart Edit to create friendly URLs. A common task under the heading Search Engine Optimization is the creation of so-called friendly URLs. In practice, many pages are not created with the most user-friendly names. They might be too long or too complicated, or sometimes you may just want to change a page's URL during the life cycle of a site. Here we have a case in point. Our lead front-end developer has decided to replace the cumbersome page name Frequently Asked Questions that forms the final part of the URL with the more concise and conventional FAQ. It's now up to one of the front-end team members to log into Smart Edit and make the change. First, we check that we are looking at the correct site. Apparel UK is good. As you can see, Smart Edit references the content catalog. Following good practice, we make our change in the staged version and then we will sync the modification into production. We select Pages to take us into the page editor, which displays an alphabetical listing of all the pages on our site. Let's search for our Frequently Asked Questions page. Then open up the Options menu on the far right and select Edit. This opens up the Page Editor dialog. We are happy to leave the page name unchanged. It's only a reference and doesn't affect how the page is rendered in the browser. If we look at the page label attribute, we see that its value corresponds to the string we want to edit at the end of the page URL. So let's go ahead and replace the long name with the more concise label FAQ. Hit save. And now we've persisted the change to the staged version of the content catalog. All we need to do now is to synchronize the page. We don't need to synchronize the entire catalog. But for the moment, Smart Edit doesn't let us perform that task. That's because changes normally need to be approved. This needs to happen before our page becomes ready to sync. Let's imagine that an approver now logs into the back office, opens up the WCMS node, and performs a page search. This launches exactly the same database query that we run in Smart Edit. We just need to be careful this time that we select the correct content catalog for our site. And then we pick the staged version. Here we can see the value of the page label attribute, reflecting the update just made by our colleague in Smart Edit. If we are happy with their change, we can update the approval status from check to approved. And finally, make sure that we save our change. If they refresh the page listing and search for the same page, they can see that its status has now changed from draft to ready to sync. So we are now ready to publish our change to production. The final step is to test whether the updated page URL has been activated on the storefront. A quick refresh of the browser generates a 404 error, indicating that the old URL is no longer valid. All we now need to do is to replace the old label text with the new FAQ value. And, as we would expect, the page is now restored. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.